It appears that I've created quite the controversy by bringing up the complaint by the Walpuri about this imposter stealing a skin name. And I'm really very pleased for all those that are actually questioning what I'm saying. Because only in questioning can you find if the answers are true or not. I can make all the claims. Anybody can make all the claims in the world they want. But are they true? And that is something only each and every one of us can decide for ourselves. Now, after I had done my video yesterday, I was waiting for it to mix and I watched this video. Now, I apologise to the Woolpre for putting up Mark McMurtry's um, images here with his stolen skin name in it. It is for the purpose of exposing more frauds of this character that I put it up there. And I do apologise for any offence that may have been caused in doing so. I will not speak the name though. But this man here represents himself to be a thorough elder, already been shown to have taken a skin name from the Northern Territory tribe of the Walpuri people. The Thorawal are definitely not in the Northern Territory. And on the video, I actually questioned whether he was a Thorawal elder. So is he of the tribe of Thorawal? Has anyone actually asked the question? Can a Thorawal elder a legitimate one step forward and say he was adopted and tell us that he has a skin name that belongs to your tribe and not to the tribe of the Walpuri. So let's have a look at the video, shall we? I'm going to apologise in advance. It'll probably get out of sync after this. I'm not working with the best of programs and an old computer, so you get what you get, okay? But this is um, the OSTF update 2011 Scar Trees. It's this video here with Mark McMurtry in it. And it's on this channel, Sovereign 10410. Now I want you to listen to what he's about to say. I've been adopted into the Githabal tribe. Um, I got Google through my dad's side, Thurl on my mum's side. I've been adopted into, um, into the Githable and my wife and I live here at Rosebury um, you know, on Githable territory um, in accord with Githable tribal law. Yeah, well, we're, we're going around the territories now, um, uh, remarking the boundaries. You know, like when the British came here, they put up fences to mark their territories or to mark what they believed were their territories or their boundaries uh, and cut down ours, which were our scar trees. So we're going back around and we're putting the scar, scar trees back in place. Um, as you can see from the two up the front here. That's the first of the new scar trees. Hey Uncle, what do you reckon? Awesome. Awesome. The icon, uh, particularly starting from the top. Well, I'm going to stop it there because I don't think it's bloody awesome defacing a tree that is essentially taking the equivalent of, say, like half your body, ripping off the top layer, going down to the next, exposing your guts and leaving you like that. That is not do no harm and that is not the Aboriginal way. Trees are valuable in the desert. They are not defaced. That is vandalism, environmental vandalism for a start. Well, let's go back to where he was sitting here. Do I need to replay where he said? And if you look up where he says he is in Rosebury, it's all suburbia. I don't know where this picture is, but uh, Rosebury is all suburbia. And uh, if it's suburbia, you cannot be sovereign if more than 10%, 20% uh, is bitumen. Oh, 
concrete, I dare say. So do you want to hear it again? And my wife and I live here at um, in the Githable, and my wife and I live here at Brasbury um, you know, on Githable territory. Right, so Githable. So I haven't found out the answer to this one, but how many tribes can you actually belong to? I mean, you know, Githable, Thorowall, stolen skin name from the Walpuri. I mean, is there any foundation in this man that has truth in himself? You know, this person that was named at birth, Mark McMurtry, can't handle the man he is. He's taken on, well, back in 2011 at the start of his OSTF rubbish, he's um, a gifable. So what? Now, in 2020, according to the Nightcap on Minjimbal documentary, he's Thorowall. How many other tribes does he belong to? Can he represent himself as any tribe? Have you all given him permission to do so? Has he been through law? Has he actually been adopted? And I also know how First Nations feel about um, painting up. I saw him <laughs> look like he got some mud out of, you know, how you get those things out of um, cosmetics or whatever, those face packs wiped it around the side of his face and stood up in front of a, a crowd and talked about what it is to be an Aboriginal and standing up for the rights of people that have been oppressed since someone came here hundreds years ago and stuck their little rag in the ground. This is an outsider. You don't question him. You should. Question me? Yes, please, question everything I say. Question it. Question him, question me, question everything. Because that's how you're going to find what is truth to you. And if you question everything, seriously, there are, but there are enough people out there that are already clued in and are warning you not only about Mark McMurtry, but... This David Cole guy, oh, wow. I was linked in on Facebook today because I'm not on Facebook. People send me links. And so I went and had a look at this link today. And my, oh, my. Well, hang on. But before I do go on to the next point, as I've mentioned, you can see here clearly that he's sitting up here, look at him up here in the image on the left, holding his hands over his big beer gut that he's spent all these years filling up, toxifying his body. I mean, does can anyone tell me whether alcohol is a good thing? Anyone? It's crap. And he's filled his body up with crap. And his, his toxic mouth, his toxic attitude is, you know... Not everybody buys his bullshit. Oh, yes, he sits up there and he spooks, oh, this, that and the other. And for people that have that feel disenfranchised, they can buy into it because they think he's got the answers. But the only reason you perceive yourself as a victim is because you perceive yourself as a victim. Because guess what? There's none of us born in this planet that actually <laughs> are not born without problems of our own. You know, we've all got our burdens to bear and our cross to bear. And each one of us have our own challenges to deal with that. But if you're going to rely on someone that can't even be true to his own body true to his own name steals a skin name from others claims to come from two different tribes does this guy even know who he is he's got that many different personalities that many different 
things to hide behind because he can't accept the man that he is. And why would he? From what I look like, I've seen plenty like him that I, (laughs) in my younger days. You know those drunken, toxic, nasty drunks that you'd meet at the pub? Yep. They'd sit there and act like they know it all and spin this yarn and because they can get a young fella or some other person to hang on their every word, they're lapping it up and thinking, I'm good. Well, you know what? He's just taken it out of the pub and into the communities. And it's not like he's not doing damage. He is using innocent people that have no indication of showing that they actually understand how they're being used because English is not their first language. And this fake, Thurwall Elder, Githable Elder, skin name Thief of the Walpree, who is he really? Does he even know? And you're looking for answers and solutions out of this man? Mm. You're, all you're going to do is find problems. So question it. Yes, I'm really pleased that people are questioning. Am I telling you the truth? Have I received a, a complaint from the Walpree? Yes, I have. You can take that or you can leave it. You can take the fact that you just heard him say Githable and it says Thorowall here. Now, tell me, is his skin name Thorowall or Githable? Now, these are answers you can give yourself. You can find out for yourself. Know for yourself. Who is this man that keeps representing himself as a different tribal elder? Who's he going to be next year? Who's he going to offend next year? Maybe he gets bored with this name and steals someone else's skin name. Maybe it might be yours. But then maybe you're not going to worry about that. Because all anyone's been worried about is picking on poor little Mark McMurtry. Do you not honour your own tribal law? How hypocritical to turn round and complain about an outsider when you're not even paying attention to your own law. Come on. Do you honour your law or are you a fake? Because as long as you're supporting this man, Mark McMurtry, you are dishonouring your skin name, your tribe. This man has got more names than, I don't know, who has as many names as this? Who has as many identity crises as this? Mm, I think people should question more. Now, Mark McMurtry, I know you've been stalking my YouTube channel. You can't wait to hear more of what I've got to say. So, this is a warning. No, not a warning. You are still using the skin name. You have got no right. Stop using it. Close down your Facebook profile under it. And stop commenting under it. You commented again under it today on Original Sovereignty Tribal Federation page. Yes, let's have a look at that. Thing I like that I got to the end of all these comments and I saw David Cole say, This page is not an OSTF page. And I thought, What? Isn't this a. OSTF page. This is. Oops, sorry. Their page. He doesn't even know what page he's commenting on. But um, here he is commenting to um, David Rourke. And good on you, mate. I'm really glad that you're questioning these things. 
and uh, more of you should follow in his footsteps. Question. Try and find out the truth. Because I'm not leading you up the, the garden path when it comes to I've had a complaint. That is 100% the truth. And you need to find that out for yourself. And I also understand the difference between native title and land title. And those that have land title have got law of their own, tribal law, L-A-W. It is the equivalent of what other Australians outside of that land title, tribal law, live by in Australia. It is equally as valid and as enforceable. It is not this fly-by-night, it's got no foundation in it. And the First Nations people know this. You should know this. If you don't, well then, seriously, you should stop listening to the likes of this Mark McMurtry and this David Cole, who clearly doesn't even know when he's commenting on the OSTF site, oh, this isn't their page. He runs the damn page, doesn't he? Oh, my goodness. But anyway, that was the most entertaining part was, oh my goodness, yep, Alan Hamer. Wow, if I've ever met some Fruit Loops, he really comes at the top of the list. But what was interesting is that, um, you know, Mark McMurtry seems to think I'm getting my information from him and... Mark Darwin and Remy Turnbull. No, never spoken to any of these people. Oh, I have Alan Hamer years ago, yes. And I'm still waiting for him to give all my stuff back that he stole. But that's a story that anyone that meets Alan Hamer gets to tell, isn't it? Because we all know what he's like once we've met him, you know. <laughs> So, yeah, he's a really credible source. I'd I'd be looking him up all the time and going, Oh, hey, Alan, please fill me in on the latest gossip. I can't wait to get your twisted version of reality again. Oh, please. <laughs> but, hey, why not? You take gun and fact big at his <laughs> word for it. Why not this crazy? Because the only difference between Mark McMurtry and uh, Alan Hamer is about 20 years and a few trips to the mental institution. There's clearly a man that can't decide whether he's a Thorowall elder or a Githable elder, or he might even come up with something else, but he came up with a tribal name that he stole a skin name because he can't handle the personality that he is. I think he's got a few personality you know, issues there, multiple personalities, certainly um, not the kind of person that you should actually be following. <laughs> yep, take a good look, Mark McMurtry. That's going to be you in 20 years' time. Because that's there's no difference between the spiels and the bullshit. These are both outsiders pretending to know, be adopted into the tribe, this guy claims he's got, what is it, 128,500-year-old DNA that shows that he's King Noddy of whatever? I mean, seriously. No one ever took him serious in the first place, did they? But maybe 20 years ago when he was like, Gunnam, maybe they did. Because, you know what, he sits there and he spills it off and he comes out with it because he said it so many times, you can actually be convinced into it. But as I said, you know, anybody that believes their own spiel can convince others. But you should uh, consider whether this outsider here, Alan Hamer, is any different to this multiple personality here. This guy that can't decide whether he's Thorowall or Githable. But he, he, he certainly doesn't like being Mark McMurtry. And why would that be? Hmm. I don't know. You cannot keep running 
and hiding behind a different name and saying, oh, look, you know, I've got a different name now. I can just put all that past stuff behind me. No. Looks like the only <laughs> inner thinking this man has done is when he's been looking at the bottom of his beer, ga beer glass and wondering, hmm, do I have enough to fill that up again? Of course he has. He's been filling his pockets up with other people's money for a lot of years. And the thing I love about his comments is that, oh, people keep saying all this stuff but they haven't gone to the police and they haven't done this and because they haven't done it they haven't got it well go on keep on believing that because that is pretty much a stupid thing to say because uh, I've just listened to something today that um, well let's just say Ooh, Mark McMurtry, I'd be wondering about whether you're going to be next. You know, someone's got to be the scapegoat. And it looks like it's heating up to be you. Darwin was the last one. Is it going to be you now? You think you're king of the pile? That you're in charge and AB's under you? <laughs> Mate, he actually brags about fucking people over. That's his specialty. And you should know that. You would have heard him say it. I did. I heard it on a recording. Hmm. Very interesting what I heard. And so, yes, you're not only facing tribal law and the law courts of Australia that are going to be uh, given stuff on you, but I'd be wondering about how much you are going to be thrown under the bus. Well, come on, let's face it. Who else can they throw under the bus that's expendable? Hmm? Who else is expendable? Because ultimately, they've got the uh, what they think is the tribal situation in there now. And you're trying to go with all your sovereignty stuff. They don't need you. They don't need you at all. In fact, looking at you, you're just a lot of dead weight. So, I'd be watching my back when dealing with a bunch of crooks. Because you know what, any time one of them could sell you out to save their own ass, And you know that damn well. So stop using the stolen skin name. Get rid of your name now. Time's up. And stop representing yourself as all these different elders. Nobody is buying that you are belonging to any tribe. Well, I'm certainly not buying it. He's as real as Alan Hamer is. And as I said, 20 years time. Yep, you can see it, can't you? The same 20 years time. This is what he's going to look like after he's been through a few stints in the loony bin. Because he's got so many personalities, he doesn't know who he is. And you're listening to what he's saying, like he's got answers. Wow. Do you listen to Alan Hamer? Hmm? Do you listen to Alan Hamer? Because it's the equivalent of listening to Alan Hamer if you're listening to Mark McMurtry. Wait for another 20 years. And then you can say, guess what? You were right. He's just like Alan Hamer. But do you want to wait 20 years? Wait for all the damage and the division to take root? Him and his mates, David Cole and Robbie Mills, are causing a lot of division in your communities. Taking advantage of elders. And you're sitting back arguing because poor little Mark is getting attacked for 
all these things he's supposed to be doing for you? He's doing nothing for you. He's lining his own pockets. Look how fat he is off all of you. Are you going to tell me that this man does everything for nothing? What a load of shit. He's got a trust account in his name. And I know that he had dealings with uh, ATSIC, the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders Commission. I know that from years ago, back in, uh, what was it, 89, when I had dealings with them in the Northern Territory, when I lived up there. I didn't know specifically this man at that time, but I know ATSIC. Also know the problems that they've had too, with all the people ripping off money. And no matter how many times you get someone else in, they rip it off too. And it looks like that some poor woman has gone to jail because she took responsibility for the missing money. What missing money? Well, take a look at his gut. Take a look at the video yesterday and his sports cars. This man is a freeloader. He takes in people's money. And his con is to sell you something that you, well, he can never give you. You can only get for yourself. One, by understanding. And two, by questioning you got a question, especially this guy. Gun him, baddie. Baddie? Come on. It's in the name. He's a baddie. Not a goodie. And isn't it interesting that, you know, everything about him is connotating towards something that, you know, he wants to project. I know why he stole the skin name. It has, it has power. And he wanted to add power to his own self. Well, you cannot steal someone else's identity and have any power at all. You are a weak nothing. You can't even stand in your own truth. I'm going to leave it on that today and there's other things that have come out about well, more of the people at NICAP and I want to get into that in a separate video. I don't want to make this a really long one. First Nations people, I've shown you. Go to Sovereign 10410. Listen to it again and again and again. And then ask yourself, how many tribes is he an elder of? How many um, tribes is any First Nation a member of? Can you be a member of more than one tribe? That would cause a bit of a problem, wouldn't it? Because you've all got your own culture, your own language, your own dream time, your own dances and song line. I mean... How does that work? I don't know. That's a question everybody should be asking themselves in the First Nation, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. Catch you next time.